we've been spoiled here. Yeah. And if you started 25, 2015, 2016, you haven't known any different. You could get away with a campaign hack or an advertising hack or a Facebook ads hack without really knowing all these basics of marketing. So like from your perspective, is there going to be a shakeout? Is there, because I know there's plenty of like in our space, there's lots of ad agencies which started 2017 and they're just using these tactics and strategies and tips and tricks, but now they have to go back to Mad Men style advertising understanding. What's your sense for the space, the digital space in general, the space around that digital space, which is like the agency space? What, what do you think is going to happen based upon this? I think it's going to be an absolute bloodbath. I mean, I think you're going to have so many of these agencies and consultants that just, they, they had, they had their trick, right? It's like, like, oh, I can juggle. And, and in a world where people want jugglers, great. And now everybody's like, screw juggling, juggling sucks. Like it doesn't work anymore. Um, you're out of business. And, and it's because they weren't actually marketers, right? They weren't mm. actually marketers. They, they were, they weren't really even craftspeople like or artists. Like they, they knew how to do one thing. Like I can move this bucket from here to there. And, and, and so, I mean, they were, they were a mechanic that only knew how to work on a particular type of engine that no longer, you know, that nobody uses anymore. Right. I mean, that, that is what a lot of these folks were because marketing at the end of the day is the amplification of a message. Right. That is what marketing and advertising is. It is the crafting and then the amplification. And all of the emphasis has been around the amplification. That's what we talk about. We talk about traffic creation, generating awareness, right? So much of what we talk about as marketers is amplification, but amplification of what, right? Now, in a world where you can have perfect, inexpensive targeting, the messaging can be, you know, meh. It can be okay. But if you show up at the right person, right time, you're going to win more times than you're going to lose, right? But now it's really, it's going to be all about the messaging. So I think the people who are going to win, and why I said what I said, let the best copywriter win, it's going to be the folks who see themselves as uh, copywriters first, as, as messengers first, um, communicators first. And then the amplification, well, we use radio, TV, the internet, a megaphone, a dude spinning a sign in a gorilla suit on the you know, street corner, like that's all just amplification. Right. So yeah, you got to know how to do that, but that's table stakes. That's just, you got to know that to, to show up where the edge is going to be moving forward is going to be on the messaging side. And, and so that's when, and, and most of these marketers haven't ever learned how to craft a message. They haven't ever learned how to dig in um, and, and figure out like, what does this person really want? They only know like, well, if somebody's looking for this, then I'll show it to them. Okay, that's great. That that's somebody who is, you know, solution aware, right? Or somebody who is most aware. But if we think about markets as concentric circles, selling to people who already know, like, and trust you and desperately want the thing that you have, man, that's easy. You don't need a marketer to do that. Just show up and say, hey, I'm here, you're welcome. Right? Going out to that next ring, those folks who are, you know, who are who are solution aware, who are in market, they're they're actively looking for stuff. Um, you're crazy if you don't target those folks. I mean, you're crazy if you don't, aren't bidding on certain keywords and things like that. in you know, in Google, like, yeah, you need to do it. I'm not saying that stuff isn't good and that it doesn't work. Y you have to do it, but that's not where the big gains are going to come from anymore. The big gains are going out to the problem aware market and even the generally unaware market. Um, that's where it's going to, that's where it's going to happen. That's where you got to learn to speak to people at the, their unspoken need, their unspoken desire things that they aren't even talking. So you mentioned Roy, like the ad that he ran, it was for Justice Jewelers. Um, and so if you want to Google Rolex ad Justice Jewelers, you can probably find it. There may even be a, a YouTube link. Maybe we can drop it in the show notes. But the basic idea is Justice Jewelers, it, it was a, a regional jewelry company after I think somewhere in the Midwest, you know, maybe the South. Um, but the, the, the basic premise was he tells the story of Sir Edmund Hillary you know, on uh, conquering Mount Everest and the idea of the watches like, you know, and when Sir Edmund Hillary returned, he was given, you know, this Rolex, you know, when you've conquered your own Everest, your Rolex will be waiting for you at Justice Jewelers, hmm. right? He wasn't selling a watch, right? The underlying need wasn't somebody 
needing to know what time it was. Right. And that's the kind of stuff that a lot of marketers who just get the, oh no, we just need to, to focus on the features and the benefits and make sure that, that we're ranking really well for, you know, buy Rolex, you know, and make sure that we're, we're there for, you know, in, in front of them for all those keywords. Uh, uh-uh. they understood that this is for somebody who has conquered a mountain and they are looking for a way to celebrate it and they don't know how to celebrate it. And you just gave them a tool a mechanism for doing that. Um, you're selling them that identity reinforcement, right? That's what great marketers understand. And that's what, frankly, we've been talking about a digital marketer forever, right? A digital marketer, we've been talking about copywriting before and after grid, um, core message canvas. Like these are all primary frameworks that we teach. We don't get into the, with, with a lot of our stuff, our workshops, some of our certs, we'll, we'll get into the mechanics because you got to know how to do it. It's just not where the edge is anymore. 